Hello, geometry students. Mr. Zazek here, back and better than ever. We're going to go through the songs real quick here. So just helping you as um, this one's going to be focused on coordinate geometry um, songs that we have here. So just need to know these formulas um, for our midterm and for a lot of the work that we do. So hopefully this will be helpful to you. All right. Here we go. We're going to start with the slope formula. Here's how the song goes. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. It's the rise over run. It's the slope formula. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. It's the rise over run. It's the slope formula. One more time. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. It's the rise over run. It's the slope formula. Okay, you can hold your applause. All right, next up is our midpoint formula song. So for the midpoint, we have x1 plus x2 divided by 2, comma, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. The midpoint formula, that's for you. You have to add and divide by 2. x1 plus x2 divided by 2, comma, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. The midpoint formula, that's for you. You have to add and divide by 2 earmuffs. The earmuffs are parentheses. Don't forget to put the parentheses. Sometimes people put parentheses around both of them. That's incorrect. It's the comma that separates. The goal is to end up with a point. All right, moving along. Distance formula. Here we go. x2 minus x1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared. Take the square root. To find the distance, take the square root. To find the distance, x2 minus x1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared. Take the square root. To find the distance, take the square root. To find the distance, x2 minus x1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared. Take the square root to find the distance. Take the square root to find the distance. Distance. All right, anyway, we'll go on. We could go on. But the distance formula, one thing with the distance formula is like, let's say we're finding the distance of AB. When you write it, this is one thing a lot of people leave off. I want you to write AB, no segment bar at the top, and then go ahead and substitute that in and carry that all down um, with you. All right, now we got the point slope formula. So this one, a lot of times when we were like writing the equation of a perpendicular bisector, we need to use the point slope formula, and it goes, y minus y1 equals m times the quantity of x minus x1. y minus y1 equals m times the quantity of x minus x1. y minus y1 equals m times the quantity of x minus x1. y minus y1 equals m times the quantity of x minus x1. All right, so m is the slope, and then your point is your x1, y1. So we're not plugging into the uh, that formula. All right, no song for the slope-intercept formula, but we I do have one. But you know, generally speaking, everybody knows what that is. It is helpful to recognize that the name of it, though, because this is the slope and then the y-intercept, so we don't confuse it with the point-slope formula. So you know. Put this on your uh, YouTube favorites, put it in your playlist, you know, listen to it as you're going to sleep at night, and uh, hopefully this will help it get these formulas ingrained in your brain. 
All right, this is Mr. Zazik Unplugged, signing off.